So I've started sketching on uh, one of the panels to have a scene about domestic violence, how children just experience witnessing their families fighting. And so this is the first step. I, I based it on this other drawing that I did. Um, and so they're going to be facing this other way, but the same idea of a, a brother protecting his sister. And so now I'm going to ink it all in. I just inked uh, part of the children in that are witnessing uh, one of the parents beating up the other parent. And I'm not really concerned with the images that I paint to be anatomically accurate or perfect. As long as I convey the emotion and the feeling, I'm drawing these images based on stories that I've heard uh, from children that I've met at the crisis center that I worked with, I mean, that I worked at, and in my own family, in my own culture, and, and my friends, and their stories. One of the women that I spoke to at Earthlinks said, uh, you should paint children hiding under the table watching their father beat up the mother. And so this is also from that. Uh, another challenge that I have is making sure that I just don't focus on one ethnic group when I draw. Uh, right now the images look dark because I was doing like a shadow study, but, um, but it will be challenging to make sure that each race is portrayed um, with respect and fairly and, and not stereotype one over the other. I'm also looking forward to the other artists to come paint with me um, to help me and to offer constructive critique as we paint this. But this image will be changing as we add more detail. Here's the original sketch for this and holding her soul or her spirit you know, are the consequences of violence, uh, the roots of violence, attempting to take away our compassion and our empathy for others. The dove, of course, representing our innocence and our souls, just something that's about us that's inherent in our search for love and light and justice. An unnatural death laughs as everyone blames her for returning to the abuse, even though her small daughter beckons her to leave. But if she does leave, chances are he will kill them. Children see, children see, trapped in darkness, hate, fear, dirt, grime, topped with wilting flowers of indignity. The stripping of one's innocence infuses me with pure indignation and brittle rage. I want to know these people. I want to see us painting our stories. I want my soul to be penetrated with their histories. She reaches for light. She reaches for dignity. Boyfriend, brother, son, father, husband, sister, dare to leave darkness, dare to leave hate. Come with me. When I get started painting, I get excited about painting, and I don't want to quit, so it was really, yeah. really fun. Yeah. Yes. How about you? You never paint. You don't paint, you said, no, but you were painting. I don't. Yeah, I was <laughs> painting today, watching everyone else, kind of like how baby learns to talk. He listens to everybody else, and next thing you know, he's speaking full sentences. So maybe I'll be like a Picasso by the end of this. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Through art. In this piece, how can you say it? Yeah. You know, that, you know it's not going to stay that way. Mm -hmm. So for people who are going through it or in shelters, you know, still in fear of living the rest of their life alone, and they mm -hmm. can look and say, well, this is, yeah, there's hope. 
Yes. And you draw hope. Yeah. My grandfather, Leo Tanguma, is a mural artist. That's him holding me in front of one of his murals. All my life, I've seen him do incredible work. He's influenced me in my dream of being a filmmaker. He and my mother are the artists of these murals at the Denver International Airport, the ones you've no doubt heard so much about. This is the story of a work of art, how it came to be, and the artist who painted it. My family, it's time to speak the truth. <laughs> 